everybody, my name is Chorus Peels and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I really want to do like a whole bunch of cool builds as our world is somewhat lacking and we need a couple and just generally improve our world so far, just fix up a couple spots that are just missing a couple items. Are we going to complete all that in one video? Well, watch to the end to find out. And also, if you've never seen me before, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, let's get started. So, the first necessary build we're going to need to do is going to be a storage room. Up in our treehouse, things like all the chests, there's like there's no more room, everything is completely full. So I think I'm gonna put it, I wanna put it right around here. So the first thing we're gonna uh, first thing we're going to need is some dirt. I'm gonna need to start terraforming this. That way we can fit a new build on in here. I think I want the build to be two stories high, but I want it to like be definitely be much shorter than these two trees here. To show like 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 the tallness of the jungle. I think that would be like a cool look to do. Alright, so I think this is going to be the height. I did want to make it one lower than the tree. That way hopefully the tree can kind of spill out onto the build. I think that would look cool. We're gonna need to Sorry, you guys need to go though. And so does this fine. Oh, all these finds seem to go. Every single one. There we go. So much better. I've never seen anyone actually do this roof, so I think this is going to turn out quite interesting. Um, but as for that, the build is, like, at least the foundation is done. Um, the roof is... Okay. Can do you guys do, do you two, can you two mind stopping? That that's really noisy, especially with the cows. We're gonna have to move everything. All right. So anyway, the roof did go higher than the tree, so I think we might do something where like the tree like spills in, and we'll have a little bit of leaves like on the inside with that. And I also. Okay, I don't have any on me, but I want to see what would happen if we mix some jungle leaves in with the the oak leaves for the, as for the tree. Oh. Okay, that though looks super nice. Okay, I love that. Yeah, so if we do something, ooh, okay. I'm liking this, but we gotta we gotta scale back a little bit. We're doing decoration already. This is. We gotta finish the build first, I think. Oh yeah, we, we left something up in that tree a while ago. Are you kidding me? Okay. We are going to have to take those down eventually. But yeah, as for the build, this is looking really nice. I think... Hmm. There we go. Just broke my legs there, but I mean, it's okay. I really like storage rooms with like the attic kind of kind of roof. That way you can put more things in the top. All right, guys. So this is the build done. I was trying to decide what other block I should use besides cobblestone for the um the, like the top part kind of. Um, so I decided diorite because I I've used calcite before and it's this kind of looks the um, it, it looks similar. Um, cause I, di I didn't really want it to be like full full cobblestone that would that would just look weird. Um, so now what we need to do is add a couple windows and then we can do like the decoration outside and then we'll do the decoration inside and then I think that will be build done. Okay, honestly though, I just found the shield in a chest, and respect the people who feel safe walking around without one. So comment down below if you walk around without a shield, I'd love to know. Alright guys, so I have done the interior, or at least some of it. I, I ran out of jungle wood, so we'll fill in the green later. 
But this is how the uh, interior is looking so far. And you have the row of chests, which are going to be coordinated and all the way down here on both sides, hopefully. Yeah, and the one is still two blocks for walk space. Um, and then up here, we'll have the same chests as well. Maybe we'll have some rarer items. I don't know. We'll, I, don't, I don't know, but it'll probably just become just like extra storage space. So, for like overflow. Um, and we will eventually move our stuff into there. I'm just, I have another build I have in mind and I don't really want to lose the vision for it. So we're going to start building that. So the build I am planning is going to be a house for my ocelots. It's going to be kind of like, like a little small cat house kind of thing. Um, but that way our ocelots can go in there and we can breed up kind of like a collection of them. That way they don't have to live in my front yard, because I feel bad about that. So I'm going to start it off, it's going to be kind of square, and it's going to be small because of the space we have here. Because maybe we chopped on that tree? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's way too small. Alright guys, so I have built the Ocelot house. Um, I decided to change it because I would need I would have needed to cut down the tree, but I didn't like it. I didn't I, I mean I didn't want to cut down the tree because I like how it's positioned. So I built the ocelot house here, and I think it looks really good, and I'm really happy I did. But now we need fish. We're gonna have to kill this guy. Come here. Yeah, come here. Come here. <gasps> we got the trident! Wait, what? We how used is it? Okay, it's, it's nearly dead. But, I mean, still, it's... Okay, can I... Wait, what the heck? Okay. Die, thank you. Now, come here, fishies. And make it some air. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. Okay, this is gonna be really hard to get, but... You know, fine, I'll let you live. There's no way I'll be able to hit that. That's just, I mean, that's gonna be impossible. Okay, honestly, I think we got enough fish because we only really need one to lure them over. And it's okay if we lose a couple on the way. That, that is okay. I fully expect for that to happen. Come here. Yes, now come on in here. Come on in here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You get off that ledge. There you go. Now come on inside. You guys need help, don't you? Come on. Okay, how's that? Yeah, come on. Come on. Good kitty. Okay, you should make a baby, and I'm not gonna give you the other one. There you go. Done. They're, they're in here. Okay. Again? Okay, that is that is going to bug me. We need to. Okay, I had thought of something though. Hi, do you want one fish? It's almost night. Okay, so if you don't want one fish, then okay. 
So now I'm gonna get rid of like my front yard kind of thing. That way we can let the cats go outside. All right guys, so we have finally put the fence around the cats and now they can kind of roam free in there and out here. I can do parkour to get out or we can just casually open up the fence. You die, thank you. Yeah, looks like I don't think they can get out. This is pretty successful. I love this. This is so cute. Okay, the fence looks kind of weird, but I think I'd rather have the fence than not let the cats be able to wander. All right, guys. So now that we have these two builds done, I'm going to make like a little hut house thing right here for our villagers. Okay, so I haven't added back in the glass yet, but I have shifted this over one and moved the rail track along with it. So, hello there. So now we can start to work on this. Yes, yeah, so we need this to build up to right there. Ooh. Hold on, let me go mining really quickly. This is, I don't think we have any more cobblestone. Alright guys, so this bell is done. It's not practically functionable. Um, it's it's just more here oops, for the aesthetic. Just to, I thought it would look cool for like the villagers to be in some sort of kind of like house thing. I think it, I think it's kind of cute. So now we're going to move on to our barn. I did, as you guys can see, I moved the, the path a little bit and I did terraform this. But before we get too much into that, we need to go mining for some cobblestone. Alright guys, so the time has come. As you guys can see, I have finished the building, or at least not for the, like, the texturing. But I really want to get the animals into their pens, because this pen is kind of blocking up, like, where I'm going to have to build. So you can see it kind of goes over. So we're going to get the cows out and those singular sheep. Okay, come here. Follow me. Into here you guys go. Yes. Good cows. Here we go. We lost a couple, but those guys can die. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't go into your new pen. And now we can take down this. No, don't you dare kill my that chicken. Die. It had to be done. And yes, I feel bad. Alright guys, so we finally have all the animals in. Here are the chickens, the sheep, and then the cows. Um, but then I realized this place needs a roof. That was the original design I had gone with. And so now we need to make that happen. So yes, I've already decorated it and everything and I haven't even done the roof. Um, so yeah, that is the update so far. I'm just going to make sure this place has a roof and add a couple more leaves to the back because it's like the least visible. It should have like the most amount of leaves, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna get to work.
Alright guys, and I have finally finished the build. So as you guys can see, we have all the animals inside here, and there was actually a baby zombie caught in like, caught like right here, where like I couldn't hit him, so I had to break the fence, I just found that pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I love how I did this roof. I've never actually done it before, and I, I'm in love with how this turned out. And I don't think I've ever told you guys, but I started kind of like a... Yeah, like a marker of my land kind of bamboo pole thing, and it, it's... I, every single time I get bamboo, I try to add to that. So eventually it's just gonna be like, go to like build limit or something. I think that'd be pretty cool to have like a build limit, like bamboo stock. But yeah, now our animals have lots more room and I'm really happy with that. And now we can breed them like a lot more freely and it matches in with theme. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys next time. Comment down below what your favorite build was that I have done this episode. Bye everyone!